Hey guys, I just stumbled into a really awesome opportunity that I need your help with. There's so much information, I figured making a video would be the best way to show you. I've spent a lot of time in Haiti over the past three years, and one of the most profound things that's really resonated with me was the fishermen in the spearfishing community. These are people that are literally using the spokes from a bike and the tubes from the tire to make nice. spear guns. That's cool, man. Homemade. Look at this chicken bag. Truthfully, the reason for their resourcefulness is that harvesting a meal or something of value from the ocean is a means of survival. It's been a dream of mine to do a drive and collect everyone's old fishing and spear fishing gear that's just sitting in the garage covered with cobwebs to bring it down to them and let them use it. One of the reasons that the timing of this drive is so important is because the small island of Laganav and a few surrounding islands rely on ferries and boat transportations to get them food, water, and medicine from the mainland. However, when the COVID crisis hit and the civil unrest continues, the ferry doesn't always run. So I've teamed up with a few churches and local nonprofits in the area so that we can get a shipping container down to them and hopefully get the fishing gear and spear fishing gear that's in your garage into their hands. A huge shout out to Florida Freedivers for partnering up with me and being a drop off point for all of the gear. There will be a truck at Florida Freedivers off of North Lake Road in North Palm Beach, Florida over Labor Day weekend. Let's fill the truck and ship all the gear to the wonderful people of Laganav, Haiti. The items we need most are coolers, fishing rods and reels, fishing line, hooks, leader, weights, old guns, shafts, bands, mask, fins, and even gloves. Even if the cooler lid is broken off, the gun is rusty or the shaft is bent, these are some of the most resourceful people and the trigger mechanism alone will go so far for them and will definitely be used for generations to come. According to Pastor Agonis, the majority of the seafood that is harvested is sold to local restaurants and resorts to provide for a more subsistent meal such as rice or beans. This is a drive to empower a fishing community with the tools that will allow them to make a sustainable living for years to come. If we fill the truck with canned food, they will eat for a day, which is great. Everything is welcome. But it's the difference of giving a man a fish versus teaching him to fish, and we all know that saying. If you don't have any gear to donate and you still want to help, direct donations can be made to support the Laganov community at the website youthfororphans.org forward slash donate and specifically select the Haiti tab and we'll make sure your financial donation goes to support these communities. Hopefully I see you all at Florida Freedivers on Labor Day weekend. The address will be in the caption of this post. If you have any questions, please comment below.